Tonight, we have honored individuals from the category of special achievement, from girls tennis, from football, all of the above and more with the EO gang. And now our final inductee represents baseball. And baseball, thanks to Coach Fred Worker and all that he has done, is one of those programs that when you think of Santa Barbara High Athletics and the teams that have been successful year after year after year, you think of baseball. And our next inductee had a tremendous career as an outfielder for the Dons, earning all league honors four straight years, as well as honors as all CIF. Ryan Spielborgs, after graduating from Santa Barbara High and a stellar career, he went on to UCSB, playing for the Gauchos and named to the Big West Conference team. After college, it was on to the major leagues. And the Colorado team where he made his debut in 2002. A great baseball player, an individual that stands out when we think of the best that have put on a baseball uniform at Santa Barbara High. Today, Ryan Spielborgs is a broadcaster, continuing to have that passion for baseball that began playing for Coach Worker at Santa Barbara High, continuing on to UCSB, and then on to the major leagues. It gives me an honor and a pleasure to induct tonight officially into the Santa Barbara High School Dons Athletics Hall of Fame, Ryan Spielborgs. tough act to follow after Randall Cunningham, but luckily my dad and I, we talked about this before, uh, we only paid for three hours of parking validation, so I'll keep it quick. <laughs> <laughs> How about the hand uh, that David's been doing as the MC tonight? Yeah. I'll give you a little sidebar uh, before I read whatever I wrote. Um, Yield gang, I used to go to Peabody Stadium and I'd always smell the tri-tip. And it was always like the kids, Randall's playing and in the end zone during halftime, you know, all the kids would go and play football in the corner. And you'd smell that tri-tip. And then I found out that the only way you could get it was if you were part of the Santa Barbara Dons football team. And so I'll, I'll tell the story a little bit later, but part of the reason why and Fred Worker still gets upset when he thinks about me playing football, because I played football for one year, it was my junior year, and Poncho still believes that I would have been a hell of a wide receiver, right? <laughs> All right, so part of the reason why I actually wanted to be on the Santa Barbara Dons football team was because I wanted that barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> and I got it for about three games, and then once you're on the DL and, I, and you're no longer able to compete, you're not really allowed to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I honestly, I'm completely humbled by this honor, and I, 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 I'll stand here in front of you and I'll tell you that people are what they are because of their environment, because of the people that are, are surrounding them. Um, I am what I am because of Santa Barbara. I am what I am because of my parents, my grandparents, my cousins, my friends, my coaches. I am what I am because of Santa Barbara, Shoreline, Goleta Valley South Little League, Santa Barbara Pony. Think about all the things of what makes Santa Barbara unique, the Mesa, the Coomber Junior High, all of it, batty batting cages. I saw Mrs. Hef, she's my fifth grade elementary school teacher and uh, it's crazy. I can look around all of you in here and say each one of you guys have had an effect on my life. And thank you. I appreciate that.
When I really fell in love with baseball, I was in T-ball. And uh, my mom, she was from Guatemala. She signed me up for the Westside Boys and Girls Club. And the first team I ever played for was the Dodgers. And that number that I got was number three. It happened to be Steve Sachs. And the part of the reason why my mom loved the Dodgers was because of some guy named Fernando Valenzuela. <laughs> left-handed pitcher out of Mexico, and so once I started falling in love with the game of baseball, it was pretty easy to turn on that Dodgers game in the Spielboards household. It's also funny that there's a picture up here earlier that showed me, like, pretending to be a baseball player at maybe five, six years old, and in that picture, if you look at it, and it's on that poster board, and you can look at it later, um, I told my mom, we didn't know anything about baseball. My dad was an immigrant from Belgium. My mom was an immigrant from Guatemala. And so I told my mom, I was like, I want to play baseball, and I need baseball pants. And she goes, all right, well, what do baseball pants look like? <laughs> I don't know. As a five- or six-year-old, what they say, I was like, uh, they're gray with pockets. So please, on your way out today, go look at this picture, and you'll see a six-year-old kid in a Dodgers jersey wearing gray wool cargo pants from the Sears. <laughs> By the time I actually got good at baseball and I was old enough to play at Santa Barbara High, um, I really loved baseball and the history. Everything about it just intrigued me. I knew everything. My dad and I, we collected baseball cards. I have every single card from Steve Sachs. I told you I was number three. And by the way, if you need a baseball card of Ryan Spielberg, just go ask my dad. He has all of them. Still collected. <laughs> but I knew prior to getting to Santa Barbara High that there was history. And I knew the history behind it. I knew that it was the home of Randall Cunningham, NFL superstar. I knew it was home of one of the best volleyball players in the history of all beach volleyball, Karch Karai. There's an MLB pitcher named Jesse Roscoe, Eddie Matthews, Hall of Famer. I mean, Eddie Matthews, if you think about this, he still holds the record, major league record, for most home runs with the teammate, career home runs with the teammate. Just happened to be Hank Aaron was his teammate. <laughs> I still laugh, though, because I, I, everything about baseball and the history and what you guys have done, what Randall has done, what Allison has done, what the Giordanos have done. We look at the name of all the people in this ye old gang. There's some awesome names in here. There are people that went to the Olympics. You've gone to the Olympics. It's pretty incredible when I start looking at the alumni of Santa Barbara High School. I'm taking, I'm blown away by it, honestly. And prior to getting to Santa Barbara High, I still pictured 1986, if you're a Boston Red Sox fan, I feel bad for you. Some left-handed pitcher, number 46 on his back, after getting that final out against the Boston Red Sox, throws a glove right into outer space. That's Jesse Roscoe. I knew that. Who, by the way, if you are a baseball fan, he had 1,252 career appearances in the major leagues. That's a record from your own hometown, Santa Barbara High. Jesse Orozco holds the record for career appearances by a reliever. 1,252. Last year, if you're curious, 82 appearances by a relief pitcher was the most in baseball by a guy named Brad Hand. It's pretty good. It would take him 15 years leading the league in baseball just to get to Jesse's number. It's not going to happen. I told you about the irony of playing football, right? So August... That right before I go to start competing in baseball as a freshman, I'm part of the freshman football team. Fred Worker is my coach. Well, I tell Freddie, because we're leaving in August, to go to Cooperstown. And he looks at me and he says, you can't go to Cooperstown. You're going to be off the team. And I was like, all right. See you later, Freddie. <laughs> So that team, all my boys, all my friends are playing freshman football for Fred Worker. And I come back wearing a Boston Red Sox hat. We go back east. I go to Cooperstown. We go to Niagara Falls. At Niagara Falls, we find out Pink Floyd is playing. And so we travel up to the CN Tower in Toronto where 
Pink Floyd's playing, and by the time I come back from this road trip, I'm more amazed about Jose Canseco hitting a ball in the third deck than seeing the seventh wonder of the world. But the beauty of this is because I got kicked off that football team, I went down to the baseball field every day, and I had that inside track to making that baseball team. And so when I was told that I made the team, I was like, sweet. I just didn't happen to know it was going to be the varsity. It's funny how things work, right? Like I said before, I'm not here in front of you because of me. I'm here because of guys like J.J. Purdy, Mikey Stallings, Jason Vasquez, Tom Barrios. There's families in here that you guys have all made me. You've all made us. I'd be remiss if I don't say their names. The Calvillo family, the Palacios, the coaches, the reps, the Oliphants, the workers, the Thomases, the Vasquez, the Hardys, the Wavens, the Peraltas, the Escobars, you guys get the picture, the Burks, the Giordanos over here. I mean, I can't even, if I don't name Tito's Market, what am I doing up here? <laughs> Which, by the way, I thought for sure an Italian deluxe before a baseball game was certain to win a baseball game. And I'm positive that if you go out and take an Italian deluxe in memory of Tito's, you'll probably do great tomorrow. <laughs> I think the history of Santa Barbara High School, the lore behind it, the accomplishments people have done, it's magical. I would be on that baseball field and people would say, see over those oak trees? That's where Eddie Matthews hit a ball. I'm like, seriously? That's like 9,000 feet. It didn't really happen. But the idea of it was great. And like I mentioned before you, the people that came before me, Randall, Karch, Jamal Wilkes, these are people that made it. Not just made it, made it. They made it. And so when eventually I made it to the big leagues, my dream it seemed obvious. These guys did it. This is my hometown. These guys made me. And you, old gang, this is the best part of you guys because I think anytime you play a sport, you don't realize who it's important to. And so I'm playing baseball. We're playing San Marcos. I don't know San Marcos. Those are guys I played Little League with, right? But to the yield gang and some of the other guys, if I, we don't beat San Marcos, <laughs> and God forbid we lose to Dos Pueblos. <laughs> but I started loving the game because of you guys, and I started playing the game for Santa Barbara High because of you, because of the people before me, because of what it meant to you, and that transferred to me. So I'm proud of the history. I'm proud that since 1875, Santa Barbara High has been a high school. You should see, honestly, look at the list of names of people that have gone to this school. Charles Schwab went to this school. He's licking his chops. It's 20,000 on the dot right now. He's doing good. You guys should probably call him Charles Schwab. Thank you again to Randall to Karch, to Jamal, to Allison, to the Giordanos, to everybody that stood before me because I'm not here without you. Like I mentioned before, I'm only a reflection of this environment. Thank you. Sports at Santa Barbara High School go very deep. He mentioned Charles Schwab. Played on the championship golf teams of the mid-50s with Al Guyberger. Sports are everywhere, and Don's sports are as well. As we wrap up tonight, I would like to thank the ASB leadership class under the direction of Rachel Rush for their service tonight. Thank you, students. And for just one moment, I would like to invite to stand at their table each of the inductees this evening. Please.
join me in a round of applause for this first class of Santa Barbara High School Dons Athletics Hall of Famers. That concludes tonight's program. Once a Don, always a Don. And thanks to all of you for being here tonight.